Hello, I'm Steve Jones, and I'm going to explain how nuclear energy works. First of all, it is quite a simple process. Although this looks fairly complicated, it isn't really very complicated at all. We require, for generation of nuclear energy, one of these two substances, either uranium or plutonium. Uranium is naturally occurring, plutonium is not, and plutonium is the result of uh, a working uh, nuclear power station. It comes out as a byproduct. Inside the nuclear power station, there is a core of what we call a reactor. This is called the nuclear reactor, and the reactor has a core and the core contains fuel rods, fuel rods containing uranium, normally uranium oxide, but it doesn't actually matter. It's the uranium which is active. And these are the rods of uranium within the core. Also in the core we need a thing called a moderator. This is to make the reactor work. Without the moderator, the uranium will not uh, undergo this nuclear reaction and the whole thing won't work. In addition, we have things called control rods which can be pushed into the nuclear reactor when it's working and shut it down. And they do that by controlling the reaction in the core. All a nuclear power station does and a nuclear reactor does is produce heat. What we then have to do is take the heat away and once we've taken it away we can uh, take it away uh, and, and, and turn it into steam which can drive a turbine which drives a generator. This is exactly the same as in a conventional power station. Unlike most uh, means of generating uh, heat, uh, the reactor is very economical on the amount of fuel needed. For example, here, 28 tons for a year of working. Whereas uh, a power station, a coal power station, would need 2,000 tons a week. This needs only 28 tons a year. So we don't have large transportation of large amounts of fuel. But the fuel is a fossil fuel. It's not renewable. It has very dangerous byproducts which have to be stored for long periods of time. But remember, there's only very small amounts of this fuel needed. So here we have basically the same device as in a conventional power station where you burn coal or gas, but the material is more dangerous. At the same time, it can be built well outside a town. It can be built where it isn't going to do any harm to the local population. So here we have how nuclear energy is generated.